Brokta Yahawa, Brokta Yahusha, Brokta Yahawa, Brokta Yahusha, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Liars in Wait. Lord, will you are edified? Habakkuk 2 and 3 for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and a vision in the format of prophecies are speaking okay the most high is manifesting himself via prophecies being exercised on earth but at the end it shall speak and not lie Though it tarry, meaning what? Delay. Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. All right? And Yahweh Bashem al Shai is a man of his word. But key point, it tarry, wait for it. Going into another term for Jacob in Hebrew, Yaikwab. All right, now, Yaikwab is most known for what? Supplanter. However, when you investigate the term, all right, it also means to lie in wait or a liar in wait. Okay, so let's pull this up, Jacob. And we'll start with Genesis. Let's go up a little bit. Genesis 25 and 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord Yahweh for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord Yahweh was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so... Why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord Yahweh. And the Lord Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, referring to the Israelites. All right. And the elder shall serve the younger. All right, the elder, hence the Edomites, all right, so-called white people based on the lineage of their fathers, okay? Verse 24, and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like in hairy garment, all right? So Esau was compared to a hairy red garments all right and they called his name esau all right now esau is the progenitor of so-called white people based on the lineage of their fathers verse 26 and after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on esau's heel and his name was called jacob now, Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes, okay, of Israel, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans based on the lineage of our fathers. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was threescore years old. When she bare them. Now, let's focus on Jacob. In the Hebrew, Strong's H, 3290, pronounced as Yaikwab, right? Which means heel holder or supplanter. All right, now, supplanter, what do you think about? All right, the story. All right, or the account 
of how Jacob supplanted Esau out of his birthright. And the reason why this happened in such a miraculous manner is because Yahweh Bashem Shai deemed it in the spirit. It just manifested on earth through the act of how Yahweh Bashem Shai wanted it to be exercised in. Okay? Now, Jacob, heel holder or supplanter. Now, keep in mind, you see Strong's definitions, right? Heel catcher, example given, supplanter, uh, the Israelite patriarch, patriarch Jacob. Now, Esau watches, all right, our videos, beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone trickling down. Case in point. Now, today's date is August, all right, 20th, okay, 2021. Now, according to Strong's definitions, all it has is heel catcher, supplanter, um, the Israelite patriarch, Jacob. Now, I did a video, okay, in 2019. Now, according to... Um, Iquab, right? When you go into the Strong's definition, it means a liar in weight. Meaning what? A liar in weight. L-I-E-R. So, let's further prove how Esau, um, watch our videos. Let's go to Iquab. When you jump down to the Strong's definitions, all right, you see uh, to swell out or up, used, all right, to seize by the heel, to circumvent, also to restrain, as if holding by the heel, take by the heel, stay supplant utterly. And like I said, in 2019, Strong's H six one one nine, Iqua it meant it meant a liar in wait. So we are awaiting the kingdom of heaven. Okay, going back into what Habakkuk, do it Terry. All right, we supposed to wait. All right, wait on what? Let's go to Psalm one ten and verse one. A Psalm of David, the Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord Yahweh Shai, sit you in my right hand until I make your enemies the footstool. This is what we are awaiting. This is why we are liars and wait. We are waiting for that transitioning. All right. From Esau's so-called kingdom. All right. Or this world to be transitioned and to um, unto us actually having the world and ruling the world in complete righteousness. Okay? Which brings me to what? Let's go to Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, in verse seven. Then answer I and said, What shall be the Parting asunder of the times, or when shall the end of the first, the first of what? The end of the first, Esau's rulership, and the beginning of it to follow it. See, we are liars and wait, all right, waiting for, all right, the world to be transitioned from Esau into our hands via Yahweh, okay? But let's continue. Verse 8, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, Jacob, Yaquab, which means also what? A supplanter. And Yaquab also goes into a liar in wait. Again, 
Ike Wobb, Strong's H, 6119, okay? Strong's definition, liar in wait. And this video was published on August 5th, 2019. Okay, so it states, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. All right, so Esau has a or an allotted time frame to rule only. And we are in the end of Esau's rulership. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, now Jacob, all right, which which um, goes into the Hebrew, uh, Yaiqua. Now, Yaiqua goes into the origin of Aiqua, which means a liar in wait. So all we are doing is awaiting the arrival of Yahweh Shai. Which brings me to my last precept. You know what? Let's just get it. I think it's in Isaiah 63. Um, and verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeemed is come. So we are liars in wait. Waiting for the year of Yahweh Shah's redeem. Waiting for Yahweh Shah to be told, hey, from Yahweh, it's your time. I have made your enemies, all right, your footstool. Lord, will you ratify Shalom?